from Season 2, Episode 4, now out for you guys to go and check out. I just watched it. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let's get this discussion going. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And let's talk about the latest episode of From right now. Okay, so episode four of From season two now has come and gone. And I tell you what, this episode isn't like the other episodes. Nothing really too freaky or creepy or horror actually happens in this episode. This episode is all driven by character. It's all about character arcs and character growth and just showing you how much of a toll the characters that we know so far are actually coming to the end of their wits with this town. Like it's just taking every bit of willpower and strength that they have to just stay sane at this point in time. People are starting to lose their shit at each other even though they were best friends and there's people just turning into psychopaths it's it's all happening right now and this episode focuses on kenny and his character growth that is going to be crucial that i think moving forward as we progress further along in this season you have this flashback of kenny when he's moving his father into the aged care facility there so that it's not an aged care facility but you, you know the medical center where he can be looked after and can actually not be a person that opens doors and lets these creatures in to kill people so we have this moment with kenny the realization that his dad's coming to the end there and like what's he gonna do and we have this is where he becomes the the uh deputy to Boyd because Boyd actually comforts him and gives him those words of encouragement to get him through. And then as we progress throughout this episode, we obviously know that Sarah's back. Kenny finds her and he brings Boyd in and Boyd has a conversation with her and is asking her questions like, where were you after you pushed me in the tree? She got zapped right there from the tree. So obviously the trees now we know that when you go into the one tree, it's not going to send you both to the same spot. It's going to send you into different spots. So that is officially confirmed now. And then as we're going on, obviously Boyd has this vision or hallucination of the priest that we know that died in the last season. And that's a really, really good exchange with, with them two and basically having them try to understand that Kenny can't find out about what Sarah did. And obviously we know Sarah was the one that actually let those creatures in because she was told to by the voices and actually killed Kenny's dad. So the whole idea was to make sure Kenny doesn't know because if Kenny finds out, broken people don't last in this town. And that's what the priest says to Boyd. But obviously it's weighing on Sarah's conscious and she ends up telling Kenny. And this is where we see Kenny break. Like, you got to know this guy, he's been hopeful, he's had to deal with everything when Boyd's gone, his girlfriend has now had her engaged girlfriend come out of the blue, so he's lost that relationship now, he's lost his father, he hears his mother weep at night in her own bed, and now he finds out that the one man he did have as a father figure and that he trusted in Boyd lied to him and knew that his father had died because Sarah let them in. And this is where we just see Kenny break. And it's, it's unfortunate because I like Kenny as a character, but this arc that he's about to go on is going to be absolutely crucial because if he breaks, that means anyone else here can break. And it's going to be, an absolute free-for-all we're already seeing donna break and she has her way with old mate there that is just the arrogant asshole he's like don't touch my stuff or anything like that so she boots him to the bus and absolutely just tells him what is going to happen and the sheer horror on this man's face the realization of shit i may be fucked is just coming to his mind because she says look you got no blinds no nothing. You're going to see everything that happens. You're going to see these creatures come up, knock on the window and try and let you in. So you better be prepared for this. So it's going to be interesting to see how he 
develops as a character now. Is he going to keep this macho man persona up? Or is he going to crumble and weep and become this guy that's going to fall into line? We don't know, but that could be the potential. And Donna is slowly losing her mind as well. She's slowly cracking. And can she hold it together? I don't know if she can. And we have Jim as well. Obviously, the voice was the big thing last out, last season, that ending with that voice. And Jim's theory is that maybe this is an experiment. Maybe they're, they're captured there. People are watching them. And this is that voice telling him that because he even says the wires can't just hang there and there'd be no electricity. So now we have this theory of, is it an experiment? It's, are people putting these people in here and seeing what happens? Did we create the creatures? Like, what is going on? And this scares Donna. And Donna says to Jim, like, don't be stupid. We don't know what it is. We don't know if it's the creatures talking to us or if it's someone else. But those, whoever's on the end of there ain't coming to help us. So you have all these things going on. So there's so many theories now coming out. We still have questions. Like, what are these things under Boyd's skin? What are they going to do moving forward? Who, what is actually going on with the town? What are the creatures? What is their purpose? Who, where did they come from? Like, there's so many things going on here. And this episode was all driven by the characters. And as you progress, when you're doing a TV show, you kind of, you can't have this impact scene every single time of like horror, everything like that. You need an episode like this episode, which, you know, you settle things down, you you take a step back from the pacing, you slow it all down, and you focus on the characters, and you give them an arc, you build upon there, you test the characters, and now you have the building blocks as we progress moving forward from here on. Now we have Kenny cracking, we have Donna on the brink of cracking, we have Jim wanting to find answers right now, we have Tabitha having those visions, we have Boyd having his stuff going on as well, we have Sarah back, what's gonna happen with her? We have the hothead. Like, there's so many things going on here now. Everything has been building, 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 building. And that's what I love about this show. It's just building upon each episode brilliantly. When it needs to breathe, it breathes. It takes its time. When it needs to be more fast-paced, more horror elements show like, hey, don't get too comfortable because, bam, this could happen. We have all these things going on here. So now moving forward, I'm very interested to see what happens with Kenny. How far broken is this guy going to be? That's going to be interesting. What's going to happen with Boyd now moving forward? What's going to happen with Sarah? Is she going in the box? Can Boyd convince everyone not to have that? What is Jim going to do? Is he going to get on the radio and be able to talk to someone else? We don't know. What's going to happen with the hothead? Is Donna going to break? So many questions. Cannot wait for the next episode. Let me know what you guys think. Smash it down there. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. And peace out.